let's consider some basic laws governing solds. Number one, the square root of m multiplied by n. We can split this into two to have m multiply the square root of n. This is true for any given positive integer. For example, the square root of 3 times 2 can be expressed as the square root of 3 multiplied by the square root of 2. And this is square root of 6. This is allowed in solids. The second law states that the square root of m divided by n can be expressed as the square root of m divided by the square root of n. Where m and n are positive integers. For example, here we can express 8 divided by 4 and we can have this as the square root of 8 divided by the square root of 4. This is allowed in sod. And this, we can break it down further as the square root of 8 divided by 2. And we can express this further as 2 root 2 divided by 2. And this is root 2. The square root of 3 divided by 2. We can express this as root 3 over root 2. This is allowed in sod. However, this is not a stable sod. But this is allowed and this is also allowed. We're going to solve more examples in this video to help us understand this. Number three, m and n in this square root must be positive integers. That is, any m and n you are going to use in sod must not go towards this direction. Anything here is not allowed. M and N must be 1, 2, 3, and continues to positive infinity. Number 4. The square root of M and N are not allowed to remain at the denominator. For example, the square root of 3 divided by the square root of 2. This is not allowed in sod. Leaving this out as your final result. That's why we rationalize sod to stabilize this type of problem as you're going to see shortly. Number five. Only square roots are used in sod. We do not have cube roots or the fourth root and so on. Only square root is allowed. And for square root, we do not include these two. We just leave it as this. Hence, sword deals with square root. The next law we are going to consider is this. The square root of m plus n is not equal to the square root of m plus the square root of n. This does not exist in mathematics. And this is not allowed in sod because the square root of 3 plus 2 is not the same thing as the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2. Even your calculator will show you that this is not the same. 
Also, the square root of m minus n is not equal to the square root of m minus the square root of n. This also do not exist in mathematics and is not allowed in SOD. For example, the square root of 7 minus 2 is not the same thing as the square root of 7 minus the square root of 2. This does not exist in mathematics. These are not equal in SOD. Now that you have understood the background of SOD and the laws governing SOD, especially 1 and 2, it is now easy to move into simplifying SOD, adding and subtracting SOD, rationalization of SOD, and how to handle conjugate SODs, which this is not among the laws. And always remember not to make this mistake while solving SODs. Simplifying SOD. We're going to simplify this SOD problem. To solve number one, we're going to think of two numbers. One will be a perfect square root and the other will not be a perfect square root. And the two numbers are 9 multiplied by 2. 9 times 2 will give you 18. Now we can apply the law. The law says that the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 2. And this, the square root of 9 is 3 multiplied by this. And our answer is 3 root 2. Next, the square root of 75. Let's simplify it. There are two numbers. If I multiply these two numbers, I will get 75. The two numbers are 25 multiplied by 3. I will apply the law that states that the square root of 25 multiplied by the square root of 3. If you break this down, the square root of 25 is 5 multiplied by root 3. And our answer becomes 5 root 3. Next, to solve number 3, there are two numbers. When we multiply the two numbers, we are going to get 80. The two numbers are 16 multiplied by 5. We are going to apply the law, which is this law. That states that the square root of 16 multiplied by the square root of 5. The square root of 16 is 4 multiplied by the square root of 5. And our answer is 4 root 5. The problem of always thinking of two numbers can be challenging. The best way to do this is whenever you're giving the square root of 18 to simplify. An easy way to solve this is you're going to draw a line. Write 18. We're going to divide this. Let's start with 2. We're going to start with 2, 3, 4, until we simplify this. 2, we go into 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Next, 2 will go into 9. We're going to have a remainder. We're looking for whole numbers. 3, we go. 3, we go into 9 three times. 3, we still go. And 3, we go into 3, 1. Next, you pay. I will pay this 3. This is free. Next, this 2 got no pay. Because of that, I will put it in a root form. This 
and these are the same. Next, we can try 75. The first thing is you draw a line. You write 75. Next, we can start with 2. But if 2 goes into this, we're going to have a remainder. Let's go with 3. 3 into 7 will give you 2. Remainder 1. Put the 1 here is going to be 15. 3 into 15 is 5. Next, 3 cannot go. 4 cannot go. But 5 will go. 5 into 25 is 5. 5 can still go. 5 into 5 is 1. You see, whenever we have 1, we stop. Next, I will pair this. 5 is 3. I will bring out 5. 3 got no pair. Whenever you don't have a pair, you go into the root. And this is our answer, which is also this. Use this method to always break your answers down. Let's try this with 80. I will write 80 here. That's root 80. I will start with 2. 2, we go into this. 40. 2, we still go. 20. 2, we still go. 10. And 2, we still go. 5. 2 cannot go into 5. 3 cannot go into 5. 4 cannot go into 5 without remainder. 5 can go and we have 1. Whenever we have 1, we stop. Next, we pair. This pair are free. This pair are free. So this 2 is free times this 2 is also free. But 5 got no pair. And whenever you don't have a pair, we put you in the root. And our answer is 2 times 2 is 4 multiplied by root 5. You see, this is equal to this. Instead of always thinking of two numbers, you will multiply to give you an answer. You can use this method and achieve the same purpose. Both are the same. Let us simplify each of these sort. For this, I will draw a line, 81. We can start with 2, but 2 cannot go into 81 without remainder. Let's try 3. 3 into 8 will give you 2, remainder 2. So we are going to write 2. That remainder, we are going to put it to have 21. 3 into 21 is 7. Next, 3 can still go here. 3 into 27 is 9. Next, 3 can still go. 3 into 3 is 3. Next, 3 can still go. And 3 into 3 is 1. Next, we're going to pair this. This is free. We're going to pair this. This is free. You can see that these two free numbers will multiply. And we're going to have 9. The square root of 81 is 9. For 88, we're going to draw a line. And this is 88. We're going to start with 2. And we're going to get 44. Next, we are going to put 2 here and we have 22. Next, 2 can still go 11. Now, 2 cannot go. 3 can't go. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The only thing that can go into 11 is 11 to give us 1. Next, this will pair and this is free. So we are going to have 2. These 2 can't pair. And we are going to put the two of them inside the root. And our answer is, and this becomes our answer. For this, I will draw a line. And this is 3, 6, 3. I'm going to start with 3. 3 into 3 is 1. And 3 into 6 is 2. And 3 into 3 is 1. 
Three cannot go into this. Four cannot. Five, six, seven, even nine or ten. But eleven can go eleven times. And eleven can still go one. Next, we pay. Eleven is free. Here is eleven. Three got no pay. So we're going to have this as our answer. Next, we're going to have 405. Next, I will start with 3. 3 into 4 is 1. Remainder 1. 3 into 10 will give you 3. Remainder 1. And 3 into 15 is 5. Next, 3 can still go. 3 into 13 will give you 4. Remainder 1. 3 into 15 will give you 5. 3 can still go. 3 into 4 is 1. Remainder 1. Into 15 is 5. Next, 3 can still go. 3 into 15 is 5. 3 cannot go further. 4 can't, but 5 can go into 5. 1. We stop when we get 1. Next, we pay. This got a pay. is free. Next, this also got a pay. This is free. Five got no pay. We put it in root. Three multiplied by three is nine. And our answer is this, which is nine root five. This is an easy way of simplifying swords. Next, we're going to look at how to rationalize swords.